Now, and it's a familiar sight in San Diego this time of year, but this year it is noticeably absent. The monarch butterfly population has dropped as much as 90% in some areas. Wow, ABC 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena spoke to a local expert about what you can do to help these delicate creatures. The monarch. For decades, they were all over North America with populations in the millions. These butterflies migrate thousands of miles every year, and normally they'd be seen all over the San Diego coastline in the late fall and winter. But their populations have been steadily declining since the 1980s and 90s. And then in the 2010s, they really, really crashed. 2020, the total count for the entire state of California was 2,000 individuals. Jeffrey Morse, associate professor of biology at University of San Diego, is an expert in monarchs. He says there has been a bit of a rebound since, but the numbers are still so low, they've been officially declared endangered. It's happening for a number of reasons, including the ongoing drought and loss of habitat. As that urbanization occurs and transforms land and, and agriculture occurs and transforms land, their host plants get lost and so they decrease. But perhaps the most significant threat are pesticides used for agriculture. They get into the plant tissue, the nectar, so the adult butterfly that is taking a nectar meal will consume that insecticide and die. Butterflies, like bees, are pollinators and have a significant impact on the entire ecosystem. Moore says there are things that can be done to help them thrive, like planting the kinds of flowers they'd like to eat. Plant those, that can really, really help the population. That means that they're stronger when they're flying back to their um, to where their host plants, their, their, their caterpillar host plants are. And if you're more than a mile from the coast, plant native milkweed, the only plant a monarch butterfly can lay its eggs on and the only plant a monarch caterpillar can eat. The monarch butterfly is one of the most iconic animals of the American West. You know, these migrations have, they, they astound us, they amaze us. And, you know, to lose that, I don't want my kids to have to experience a world without monarchs. Lindsay Pena, ABC 10 News. And they are so beautiful. Moore says an official annual count on the monarch population will be done next month.